all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you um, i'm drinking my coffee i wish i can invite you and uh, the coffee i drink is really strong this is a greek style coffee not the american coffee which usually western used to drink which is nothing really but dark water so this is the real thing one cup is a great coffee uh, peace of the lord May the Lord bless your Sabbath, bless your family, and bless things you will do. Blessing to all those who uh, love the Lord and those who need Him. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. He is always with us. Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. So is here. He is here right now as we speak. Uh, yesterday we spoke about... Uh, you know things to do in the weekend right and we said we should you know like get out see the sky see the water see the trees uh, be in touch with the many things with the lord he created for us uh, sitting behind doors even in the weekend is not really even maybe you think you are resting but it's not really a true resting uh, <clears throat> doing some activities can bring an extra joy to your life and can give you a better comfort for the coming week especially if you do those activities with people you like people you enjoy their company um, you know quality people so you can spend the quality time with those people for me I'm, I'm going to go and spend a quality time with the quality ocean uh, the ocean here is uh, is fantastic. The water is clearer than the water you drink. Actually, it's amazing how clear it is. Um, actually, I'm thinking to take some pictures when I'm there. I, I know I cannot uh, pause video. I mean, wh while I am there, uh, because I have the cheapest uh, data plan in the world, maybe. <laughs> so my my uh, uh, my data is very little. You know, they give me like little amount of data. But it's enough for me. I mean, I don't really use it much. Uh, so I might take some pictures. And later when I come back home, maybe I can load video if I take videos. Uh, but uh, loading a picture is not going to be a problem. Especially now we are at the end of the month. And uh, actually, it's the beginning already. It's February 1st. So I don't know if my new data started the plan. Not sure. We will see. Uh, <clears throat> yeah well as long as you are talking about say inshallah i want to tell you this joke there was two guys one of them is a christian and one of them is a muhammadan and they were fishing next to each other so the the uh, uh, the christian he cast his uh, rod and he get a fish and he cast again he get a fish the muslim man, he said to him how, I mean, how you do that i'm just next to you i'm using the same bit as you do and how you do that? So the Christian, he said, I say, oh, Jesus. Uh, the Muhammadan, he said, okay, I will try it. So he threw his uh, rod and he, you know, he said, oh, Jesus. And he got a fish. When the fish came, it was really big, you know. And right away, he said, oh, Muhammad. And the fish fell down in the water. So this is for the fishing. Remember, remember the, the Lord of Miracles. His name is powerful. Uh, however, you know, the best thing about fishing is not about, you know, you going and getting uh, a fish as much as it is, you know, it's a joy. It's a teaching you patient, uh, teaching you um, pa patient is, is the root of many right decisions you do in your life. When you rush to a con conclusion, when you get angry, uh, when you are a, a person who do things, you know, without measuring them carefully. Um, that will bring problems so there's many things many activities in this earth can teach you really how to be patient and one of them is fishing uh, like last time I was doing fishing I stayed there for three hours and then finally a fish came you know and for me as an Arab Middle Eastern you know we have to practice our hobby 
So I start investigating the fish and I was questioning her. I tied her up to the chair and I was asking her, where is your friends? You need to tell me where is your family and where is your friend? I want the details. I want their addresses, where they live hmm? and their names. There is no way after three hours waiting, only a one fish come, you know. That's not uh, not good. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, fishing is really uh, a blessing for it teach you a lot of things. In the same time, you enjoy a very beautiful scenery in front of you. You know, this is the beauty of the Lord himself. Look at this beauty. Look at this ocean. Look at the sun. It's amazing. Actually, the word amazing cannot describe it. Uh, some saying I have no patience for fishing. Well, then you need to learn patience because patience is needed. It's not about fishing. Patience is needed for anything you do in your life. If you have no patience, you will end in divorce immediately because you have no patience. You know, patience uh, is everything. Patience and wisdom, they are connected. You know what I mean? So you need patience. It's not a choice. You have to. Nothing come easy. And as they say, even things which come easy go fast. Uh, only got two fish? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, depend in the place. You know, like uh, I remember once I was fishing and there was a kid. Uh, this this kid every five minutes he get a fish. I'm I'm getting nothing. Simply I was using the you know I'm not in the from the area. Uh, I'm using the wrong size of the hooks. This is what I have. I don't have a different size. You know, uh, I'm using everything wrong. So he was getting a fish every five ten minute, and then I look at him to see the fish he got, and then he put his tongue out for me like la 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 la. <laughs> Very cute kid. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Someone saying the Arab are used to fish by using dynamite, which is really disgusting behavior because that will kill all kind of fish. And then after a few years, they have no fish at all. So they destroy their shore. They destroy their, uh, you know, no fishing, fishing by such a thing is a crime, actually. And, uh, you know, in the state, uh, this is what I like about the state. The beach is so clean, cleaner than the house of the people who come to it. And the government they enforce very tough rules on people you know do enjoy have fun right but don't leave don't leave a plastic bags behind you and drink and etc so you you came here the beach was clean you leave it have to be so clean so this is fantastic and i hope that many countries around the world they will learn uh, to do that you know i've been in many countries in the world like as an example in Philippines, they have a beautiful beaches, but people don't really uh, care for their beaches. So you will see plastic bags, you will see, or you know, Thailand, uh, you know, they, they are lucky actually, they have a lot of uh, beautiful things, but they, you know, uh, people, they, are, they don't care. You know, uh, some countries, they are still living, um, I don't know, in the careless time um, but this is so sure wrong right <clears throat> I'm going to the, to the to the seashore to the ocean I'm going to the ocean I enjoy the ocean the sand I will, I will take pictures I will post it in uh, patreon when I'm there the the sand is so white so soft um, like uh, the weather today, maybe it's not going to be that good. But, you know, I mean, better than staying home, right? Uh, and I feel like sometimes you feel like you want to do it, so you do it. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. I am. Yeah, actually, you know, there is a there is there is many people here. They are from Indonesia and Indonesia have a very beautiful beaches. Uh, I, I don't know about fishing there, but I'm sure they have a nice uh, fishing uh, locations. Here where I am, the fishing is fantastic. 
I mean, you can get a fish in your size, literally, you know, uh, not like fishing in a lake where you can get like, uh, you know, a few inches fish and you think it's big. Here the fish can go big, really big. Uh, guys, don't mention those kids, Fifi and Mimi, that's it. I mean, we are not kids. You know, if they dare to debate us, they will call us and we are here, right? That's it. We don't want to, this kids. This is kids. This is now became kids and stuff. We get them busted. They can say whatever they want. If you want to watch them, go watch them. If you are really interested in their comedy, good for you. Have fun. But for me, I find it silly and stupid. So don't mention to me those kids anymore. You know, we are here challenging big ones. And those who think they can win, if they, trust me, if, the, if those people they have really a real argument, they will not hesitate to call and get me busted. As simple as that. What is what is holding them from really calling me? As long he's wrong, he's lying. I mean, it's easy. Just call, people will laugh, right? But they don't dare to do it because they knew their size. So don't mention their names for me. You like them? Go there. Anyway, so let us see here. There's some more nice pictures in this website. I think, you know, people, they like, uh, they like to watch this stuff. Like, you know, he's this guy. He said that this guy, come on. I mean, a bunch of kids. Ah, they can say, if I'm going to answer every kid, he say, I make a video about me. There's millions of them. Then have you ever heard of a Muslim he agree with me? That's impossible. The only time he will agree if he is leaving Islam. As simple as that. So uh, are you expecting really a Muslim to say he is telling the truth? Are you expecting a Muslim to say Christian Prince uh, when he speak negative about Muhammad, uh, he is telling the truth? No way. I mean, you must be a fool to believe that he is going to agree. Uh, with, you know. That's what we are doing here. We are showing the world that Muhammad is a fraud. So what do you want the Muslim to say? Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's saying the truth. He's right. Our prophet is a fraud. <laughs> so don't play like a kid. If you are a kid, go there. You know, here is a place for mature adult people. They are kids. Um... <clears throat> Let us see. I'm not sure, by the way, today if I'm going to get any fish because you never know. Uh, you know, those fish, they come in school, which means they don't come as like individual one swimming here and there. Uh, they come in big number. So either you get really, really lucky and you get, you know, good size and some good number of fish or you might get nothing, you know. This is here in Australia. This is in Australia. No, we are not wasting our time. You see, as I said many times, we hit the head of the snake, not the tail. Those are the tail, they are the puppies. Don't waste your time. They wish actually you will transform, transform your, your topic to be about them. I mean, why you want to talk? They are no one. Head, the head of the snake is the target. It's like, you know, somebody, he have a limited number of, uh, uh, let us say, limited time in his life. And there is a dragon. And what he do? He want to, he want to shoot the tail of the dragon. But you know that shooting the tail of the dragon will not kill the dragon. You have to shoot the head. I mean, don't be fooled. So we don't waste our time with the tail. Always aim to the head. That is Muhammad Aka Allah. Um, fishing in the ocean still need license. Will depend where are you. There is many countries don't require license, but in USA yes. You know USA, but I mean it's not a big deal. You know you pay a small amount of money. It's not really like um, you know ripping you off. Um, but there is many countries. There is no need for uh, license, right? And I like it really in the shore. 
some people they like to go in the pier because it's easier and you go in the like you are in the top of the ocean right away but you know it's very crowded a lot of people etc uh, how many witnesses it doesn't matter how many witnesses you have even if you have a million still they are not proving anything we don't want to change the topic but in Islam the case of rape or even adultery you have to see the private part of the man going in and out literally and you know what I'm talking about otherwise there is no proof of case which means if they see him in the top of her raping her that is not an enough proof of rape and you know Arab men they wear long dress so you will not see anything there's a story of a guy, uh, three witnesses or uh, four witnesses, they saw a man having sex with a woman and they came to the caliphate and one of them, he said to him, I saw her legs, her feet around his neck like ear of, of a donkey. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine the position, right? So still the caliphate, he said, did you see it going in? The guy, he said, no, he said, beat him. So those, those witnesses, they did been whipped beaten for supposedly accusing a good believing muslim of adultery he is a good believing i mean her legs her, her feet is around his neck <laughs> and the guy he said i saw them like an ear of a donkey <laughs> around his neck this is not enough so this is a stupid cult my friend this is a very stupid cult and how in the world you want to see that thing i mean that's so like he will say he come here so took, take a look uh, crazy people satanic religion Muhammad he made those rules so to make it impossible to prove adultery you know and how in the world you can get four witnesses I mean you what like, okay you are a husband you go you go home you find your wife with somebody this is no proof even if you see it doing it like literally because you need four witnesses okay so now what do you do you go out of the house you say guys hey hello Ahmad can you please come over my wife, she is deep with somebody, uh, Muhammad, called the second guy, third guy. So you have to get four witnesses, and then they have to come, and they have to see his private part going in and out. I mean, do you think that guy is going to be waiting? So if the four guys, they came, and he is, even if he's naked, and she is naked, and they are not, they do not see it going in and out, there's no proof of the lottery. Hmm. This is how it is. <clears throat> okay with Palestinian state there is no such a thing and you know uh, the, this uh, politics is a stupid this is politics this is politics this is a this is a this is a stupid politics peace will never happen in the Middle East and those who believe in peace in the Middle East they are stupid they are they have mental issue they have they are not aware of what is the problem the problem is not a land there's, there's not they are not fighting over a land this is a fight between religions and the idiot, the donkeys, they think it's about the land. It's not. You see, the Ottoman, they occupied this land for centuries. Not a single Muslim complaint. Egypt was controlled by Albanian. Albanian, they are not even Egyptian. For more than a thousand years. And nobody complained. Why? Because they are Muslims. So all what they want is just to bring them somebody is a Muslim. And then you are good to go. As long as he's a Muslim, there's no problem. So the fight is not about this is your land, this is our land. The fight is that those are Jews and those are Muslims. And the naive one, they don't want to understand that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> when I can when I can you see like um, I have a lot of work to do but uh, as I said yesterday it's good to take a break uh, you know and enjoy the gift of God we don't want to change the topic to make it about Muhammad enjoy your weekend guys forget about this filthy man this filthy man is dead our Lord the Messiah is a living Lord. So today is Sabbath, 
Live your day with the living Lord. The dead man is a dead man. You know, once a big sheikh, he came to my father and he said to him, you know, I really I love enjoying being with you like you are a great person. You know, so he's like, you know, saying pleasing words as an introduction. And then he said to him, but you know what? You will be amazing Muslim if you convert to Islam. You are the elder in your family, big family. Everybody respect you. Why you don't convert to Islam? So my father, in a very nice way, the same as the gentleman he was talking, he said to him, well, you know, you, you, are, you are right, actually. But I have a question. Uh, the Messiah, where is the Messiah now? Uh, the Muslim Sheikh, he said, he is in heaven. He said, okay, and where is Muhammad? He said, he is dead. So my dad, he said, well, for now, I'm going to follow the living one. And I think it's a better idea. You follow the dead one. Hmm? It was a very nice, actually, this is the first time I see my dad debating a Muslim, you know. It's kind of like a, a very funny debate, you know. It's like a, a, a smooth, very nice. He is in our house. He will not insult him. He will not be rude to him. The guy, he did not uh, say something rude. Uh, he made a nice introduction, speaking good about my father. And my father gave him the, the nail in the head. You know, I'm, I'm following the living one. How in the world you want me to, to go and follow a dead person and you follow a dead man? That's really stupid, right? Well, why you want to follow a dead person? <clears throat> right? East Timor, how are you, my friend? Here we go. We have people from East, East Timor. You believe it? I want to go there one day. Um, you know, East Timor, they suffer a lot. And finally, uh, God provided them with, the, with help. And they were able to have their own state. And now it's a Christian state. That's wonderful. Very wonderful. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful how, how big our family is? Look, I go, um, you know, 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. And we have almost 500 people from around the earth. This is very beautiful. Uh, thank you, Saga. Thank you. Yeah, why in the world do you want to follow someone? I mean, we have a cult teaching us that the Messiah is alive. And yet they want, to, they want us to follow the dead Muhammad. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I banned the Muslims? No, I don't ban the Muslims. That's not true. All my life I spent speaking to the Muslims. I block people who spam the text. Doesn't matter who they are. And as you see, our topic is about fishing. And then there's a little kid. He comes and says, Debate me, CB. Debate me, CB. Debate me, CB. If I open my Skype, nobody will call. We stay in the sky for five hours saying, Who want to call me? Nobody call. When we talk about different story, different topic, suddenly they want to talk. I have no place for kids. If you are not a mature, you know, then this is your business. I mean, do you see the name of the topic? I'm going fishing, join me. And then you say to me, call me, I want to debate you. Are you a fish? Obviously, you are suffering from mental issue. I say this is a fishing day. You want to fish, with, you know, I want to debate you. So obviously you have mental issue and then you complain about your mental issue. Go take some medicine, drink camel urine. Enjoy it. You know? When we stay for five hours, keep saying, any Muslim want to call me? Any Muslim want to call me? I lose my voice, keep saying. And now, you want to debate me. And by the way, they do it in purpose. Like if I go right now to Skype, they will call me no. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah. You will join me, Blue? Welcome, my friend. The ocean is big. And actually here, 
the the shoreline is really long. This is what I like about it. It's not like, you know, like in Europe, you go where there is a beach and you find like 10,000 people in the beach. You can't even walk. Right? No, where I'm going, you can go and you will find zero people around. You know? <clears throat> anyway I will try to take pictures well, I will take pictures I should not only try I'm looking actually at the sky is getting good uh, it sounds like uh, sound interesting and the wind is getting down so even better so we will see you know, because if the wind is facing you, usually the wind comes from the ocean direction, and you want to cast your rod in the ocean, uh, if the wind is strong, you, you will not be able to cast really far, you know, because the wind will fight uh, what you throw. <coughs> why Muslim make pork haram? Actually, they have no, they have no answer. Uh, ask any Muslim why it's haram. They have, they have no answer. They have no answer. Islam is a stupid cult. Why? Is, yeah, this is a good question. Why it's haram? They don't know. I mean, this is a religion. They are copying from the Jews. Everything they have is a, is a theft. That's why they have no answer. The second you ask why in the, uh, in, in this cult is the same second where Islam collapse. You know what I mean? Don't ask why. Just take it. <clears throat> yeah, nature is so sort of beautiful for sure. Yeah. Like, actually, you know, there's very something very funny as, as long today is sa Sabbath. Okay, why Allah He made the pigs out of the Jews and the monkeys out of the Jews because they broke Sabbath, but He did not force Sabbath on the Muslims. I mean, isn't it weird? If this is a big deal for Allah, as they claim, you know. Okay, if you break Sabbath, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. Wonderful. So why Allah did not give the Muslim Sabbath? Simply because Muhammad, he wanted to change. And we can show you the reference. Where the Muslims were discussing with Muhammad, which day they should make it their day. They said Sunday. He said, no, this is the day of the Christian. They said Saturday. He said, no, this is the day of the Jews. And then he come with Friday. So it was not really Allah, it was Muhammad trying to look different, for he is guilty, he knew he is guilty of copy-paste. Right? And you know, the stories in the Quran is enough of proof to us that this is, the, this is the most stupid religion. Imagine there's a God, he will punish you and make you a pig and a monkey for fishing in Saturday. If you rape a woman in Saturday, he will not make you a pig. If you rape a child in Saturday, he will not make you a pig. But if you do fishing in Saturday, brother, he is going to make you a pig. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? You have to be suff you know, suffering from too much drugs in your blood. Too much hashish. You know? This is too much hashish. <laughs> and you know what? Today is Saturday. What about we make a challenge to Allah to make me a pig and a monkey by the end of the day? <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I'm going to do fishing. Hmm? What do you think, Muslims? Allah will make me a pig? Right. Yeah, it's an awkward cult, stupid cult, fairy tales, stupidity, and most of those stories, by the way, Muhammad, Muhammad is a victim, by the way, he's a victim of the Jews, the Jews, they made fun of him, the Jews, they supply him with the stupidest stories, this idiot, because he's a donkey, whatever the Jews, they say, he take it serious, the Jews, they have many stories, they tell it to their kids, it's for bedtime, Muhammad, he took it seriously, Like the Jews, they teach their kids 
uh, in the time of Muhammad that if you uh, when you pee if you pee and the pee fell in your feet God would torture you this is how they teach their ch children hygiene maybe you know for for sure this is bad to do but this is what they do Muhammad he took it he believed it and then he teach it and then he start adding it to his prayer Allah protect me from the torture of the grave and then he said most of the torture of the grave is urine why he said that because a Jew he she said that this guy is a donkey it just say something in front of him he copy it he make it from God you're forcing me guys to mention things suppose you today we are talking about fishing hello <laughs> Have you, have you ever heard of religion? Believe that urination is the main cause of punishment of the grave. Why? So if you are a rapist, Allah will not punish you in the grave. If you are a thief, he will not. If you are a criminal, he will not. But if you urinate and urine touch your skin, Allah will torture you. And Allah brother will send two angels. And the angels will ask you questions. Who is your God? You have to say Allah. And then, what's your religion? You have to say Islam. I mean, look how stupid this is question is. The guy, he just said his God is Allah. So what his religion will be? Let me think. Maybe Hindu. Buddha, maybe. Maybe Buddha. Maybe he's an atheist. I mean, look how stupid even the quiz. And then they will show you a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. And then they'll ask you, who is this guy? I mean, did you even see Muhammad Muslim? Did you see him before? And then you have to say Muhammad. Okay, hold on. So now we Christians, we knew the quiz. We knew the correct answer. So everybody will pass. I mean, how stupid this religion is. Imagine you give the student the questions and the answer a centuries before the, the, the exam. Everybody will pass. The two angels will come to Christian Prince. They will say to him, Christian Prince, who is your God? I say, Allah. Ah, okay, good. He passed this one. Uh, what is your religion? I say, Islam. Oh, he passed. <laughs> and then they say, uh, this picture is a picture of who? Um, I will make himself like I have difficulty a little bit and to convince them that I'm thinking, you know. And then I say, Muhammad. They say, pass. He passed. Okay, leave him alone. I mean, what a stupid cult, man. You are giving us the correct answers from now. And if you give the wrong answer, the angels will hit you with the hammer in your head. I don't know if any of the admin have the hadith, you can post it. Right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Phil, he is posting. Is that the hadith about the hammer? Uh, no, this is not the one. Anyway, there's a hadith about the hammer, how the angels, they come and hit you in your head. There is a video actually made by a Muslim, which is really fantastic. It is it is hilarious. It's about the punishment of the grief. And the guy, he is speaking from all his heart. And he is so much convinced that this is true. But all of this is something he learned from the Jews. You know, look with me. Read, read carefully. Aisha said a Jewish, a Jewish came to her and mentioned the punishment of the grave, saying to her, may Allah protect you from the punishment of the grave. Aisha, she asked Allah Apostle about it. Muhammad, he said, yes. <laughs> he liked it. And then since then, the Prophet, he never pray. Look, look what Aisha, she said. After this incident, Muhammad, he never prayed without saying, I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. But he never did that before. Which is obviously clear that he just learned this from the Jew. He accepted and he added to his religion. Muhammad is like a bug. And this bug have kind of a glue in her skin. Wherever she walk in, she collect. Right? He never said, I seek refuge by Allah. From them. So how come now suddenly it became so important? So she, he never pray anymore. Look, look, after that, read carefully. This is not me saying that. After that story, 
I never saw Allah Apostle seeking refuge with Allah, you know, but he but seek a refuge. So before that point, this is why Aisha she was refusing this belief. She could not believe the Jew saying that. But after that, Muhammad he never prayed without seeking refuge from the punch of the grave, which means it's obviously it's a fraud. This donkey, he heard the Jews saying that, he took it, he adopted, and he added to his religion and he made it Islam. This is Islam. Islam is a collection of stupidity. You know? And the funny, you know, the Muslim books, they expose their prophet, which I like very much. I'm so grateful that we have those hadith. You know, especially the Muslims, they help us very much and they translate them. You know, I mean, I'm really thankful for Muslims' hard work to translate those stories. What I used to teach about Islam before many years ago, I used to have to translate by myself. There's no English website, there's nothing, which make it really hard for me. So since then, Muhammad, he never stopped talking about the punishment of the grave. And here you, sign, you find the story with more details. A Jewish woman entered into me and said, the torment of the grave because uh, of urine. Uh oh I said, you are lying. What? Aisha, she said, what? Aisha, she accused the women of lying. That means that Aisha, not only she never heard that before, but it's stupid. So she, this is coming from two things. She never heard this before, and it's hard to believe. And I agree with her. She said, no, it's true. Okay. We cut our skin and our clothes because of it. Messenger of Allah went out to pray and our voice became loud. He said, what is this? Hmm? Detective Columbus now is coming to investigate. What is this? I told him what she said, which means the torture of the grave is from urine. He said she spoke the truth. Like, what the heck? For sure she spoke the truth. She is a Jew. Whatever the Jew, they say, Muhammad, he accept. After that day, read carefully. After that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, following the prayer, Rabbu Jibreel wa Mikail wa Israel. Here we go. He added Israel, sorry. Wa Israel. All those names are stolen from the Jews too. Jibreel, Mikail, Israel. Where is the angels of Allah, the Arab angels? And then he said, uh, you know, seek refuge from them and the torture of the grave. Suddenly, there is a part of the prayer, Muhammad, he add every, every time he pray. He never mentioned that before. He just heard the Jew saying that. We take it, we make it part of the religion, and then we make it a prayer, and then we, and we make it a practice, and then we make Islam. This is Islam. No? This is the fraud of Muhammad. And the Jews, by the way, they, we have to be grateful for the Jews, because the Jews, they help us a lot to get him busted. The story of Alexander the Great, all those stories, is the Jews, they supplied him with, with the, the Jews, they trapped him, that's why he hid them. He found out later that he was a fool. That's why he decided to kill them all. If you go to chapter 18, all chapter 18 is what the Jews supply Muhammad with wrong information to get him busted. And they knew he's a fraud. So whatever he say, whatever they say, he take it, he make a chapter about it. No, I'm drinking uh, coffee. Actually, I made coffee. I forgot about it. Let me get. I I have this. Uh, this one is called. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I love coffee. I'm so glad that the Jews did not tell Muhammad 
Uh, actually, they should say that. Imagine if the if Muhammad uh, if the Jews told him, uh, uh, God will torture you because of coffee. The coffee price will decrease, decrease because there's more than one billion. They will be forbidden from uh, drinking coffee. I mean, why did not say to him that meat eating meat is uh, forbidden too? <clears throat> and you know, like even Muhammad he adopt many things from the Jews as an example, uh, garlic. Allah hate those who eat garlic. Why? Because garlic offend the angels. What? Garlic offend the angels? How that can be true? Garlic not only very healthy, you should eat it. All those plants Muhammad he mentioned not to eat in this hadith, as you see, they are very healthy. Angels are harmed. Like what? Angels are harmed by garlic? Are they Dracula? <laughs> they, they, they made up, by the way, a story about Dracula. By the way, Dracula is a good guy. Many, many people think Dracula is a bad person and he that this whole story is fabrication. Dracula is a hero who fought the Muslim Turkish occupation to Romania. We have a very false information about Dracula. But however, in the movie Dracula, he feared garlic. Angels of Allah, they fear garlic. Why? So now we knew the weak, with the weak spot of the angels of Allah. The angel of death, he will come to take your life. Put some garlic in your pocket. He cannot take your life. Hmm? I mean, what is this? He learned this from the Jews. The Jews, you know, they have many stories, especially like in, uh, in, 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 in false books like... Uh, uh, the Talmud and etc. There's many books like, you know, f f funny stories written by a rabbi. Muhammad, he take whatever the Jews they say. He who eats this offensive plant, offensive plant. I mean, have you ever heard of an offensive plant? Shall we wage war against garlic? And he is counting them eat onion onion too so what is left those are very very useful plant to eat garlic can lower your cholesterol very healthy it's it's a natural antibiotic too like now there's viruses etc the best the best really natural food to fight without side effect is garlic You see, all medicines have side effect. Those they don't. So look, he is saying to them that those are offensive plant. To the angels. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? How stupid you, I mean, how wise this man is. Imagine I'm prophet and saying to you, a brother's ancestors, Allah, he just informed me that garlic is offensive to his angels. <laughs> hmm. Garlic is very healthy. Actually, I advise each one of you to eat, uh, uh, you know, some garlic every day. every day because it helps you very much to control your cholesterol even lose weight and balance your heart your your your, your, your nerve system it's very healthy same time it will, it will, it will, it will 
uh, will boot your immune system uh, onion is very healthy too but I advise you when you eat onion this is something I want to uh, uh, share with you you see the onion have a skin when you open the onion there is a skin inside the onion take it off that is not really healthy the onion itself is very healthy you know uh, those are very 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 good plants <clears throat> uh, eh, but you what do you say uh, he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse yeah eat pure garlic the raw garlic don't uh, don't uh, don't cook it you know when you cook it you destroy it so uh, always when you when you uh, you know when you have uh, uh, any can anything uh, natural plant you you better use uh, something uh, raw not not cooked the, the the more raw it is especially it's plant you know uh, like not like meat there is no worms there is nothing so just wash it very well and you know it's easy actually the garlic is very easy to uh, uh, to trust because it have a it have a crust it have a you peel it out so it's already clean there's nothing to worry about not like other green green uh, vegetables where maybe some bacteria is stuck with it or etc you need to wash it carefully so onion is very good too onion have a, have a many many uh, uh, many health uh, uh, you know healthy uh, uh, benefit a lot of, a lot of uh, health benefit yeah so um, what I'm trying to say to you it's very clear that this man he adopt superstition stories and he made them part of his religion the story of the flying carpet this is from the Jews the story of the ant you know uh, Suleiman he heard the ant right you remember the story in in the, in, in, uh, in the Quran Suleiman he heard the ant but Allah he taught him the language of the birds I mean okay hold on Allah he taught him the language of the birds but yet he understand ants hmm. when you are going to learn about how to make yogurt okay if I make yogurt if I show you how I make yogurt people will you know will start judging me judging me the the kitchen counter I have is very poor you know uh, the stove I have is very old and you know people will eat you alive <laughs> they will say Christian friends is a cheap <laughs> I don't have a fancy kitchen for those, you know, like you see those who are making uh, uh, food, how to do this, how to do that. They have nice kitchens. I, I have I have maybe, I think the stove I have maybe is this like 60 years old. Uh, it's working, you know, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I might, uh, you know, wait, wait until I change it. I will change it because... Uh, and the other day it almost caused me uh, to have a fire you know I turned the one in the right and then I found the one in the left is on I mean you believe it <laughs> and I have I have like uh, I don't know what I have in the in that one and the, suddenly I start here uh, smelling smoke you know but I, I did not turn that one I turned the other one uh, so I went there and the smoke were all over and there is a uh, fire in the top of the stove, you know, anyway. You live in Saudi Arabia? No, I live in USA. Now, if I make a video about how to make yogurt, the Muslim, they will say, look how his stove look like. Look how his kitchen look like a brother. A brother, did you see the wall, a brother? This guy, he don't have... I mean, look at this guy, brother. <laughs> the, garlic the garlic fear. I got an idea. I will hang garlic in front of the camera.
that will install terror in the heart of the angels of Allah. They see garlic. I'm going to hang garlic in the mirror of my car. Look like the, 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 the terrorists of Allah. They fear uh, pork. They have phobia from pork. They have phobia from the cross. And they have phobia from garlic and onion. And by the way, uh, most of Muslims don't, don't listen to the crap of Muhammad. Go to any house of any Muslim, you will see they have garlic, they have onion. <laughs> and you know, if a Muslim, he pray five times a day. And garlic is going to be offensive a plant or uh, onion to the angels. That means he cannot eat it for, for the rest of his life. Right? That means he cannot. I mean, okay, when you are going to eat garlic? You are going to pray five times a day. It's not like, okay, uh, I'm going to pray now and the rest of the day is no prayer. So I can eat garlic after the prayer. No. How it order any harm? Well, all the Quran is about ordering harm. All of it. Harm, there is many levels of harm. What, what about uh, having a sexual relationship with the children? Isn't it harm? What about beating your wife in chapter 4, verse number 34? Isn't it harm? I mean, how disgusting. And not to mention killing Christians and Jews and infidels, you know, and stealing. Adab al Murfad and Muslims cause good things. Muhammad supposed it. Okay, you know, you see the Muslims, they are quoting good things about Muhammad. Okay, no problem. Let us say uh, they are trying to make Muhammad the most amazing person. But that will not change that in the same books, Muhammad is a rapist. So Muhammad was good to the Muslims. He was rapist to the non-Muslims. He was a child molester. Aisha is a Muslim. You know, most of those stories are fabricated. You see, even the hadith we are seeing right now, who is the one who collect this hadith? People who came 300 years after Muhammad. Okay, how you know that this is true? Do you know this guy, Jabir Abdullah? You do not know him. Who is this guy? You were there? So, all the stories about Muhammad, regardless if it's negative or positive, is collected centuries after from people who say claim this guy he said 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 okay so if i come after three centuries and i give you trustworthy names of a hadith which means a speech of muhammad so you adopt the story just because the names are reported there are are good names for you well maybe i fabricate that they said that it's impossible you know it's a it's a stupid the same as the quran the quran was collected long after after uh, uh, muhammad death and the Muslims today, they don't have even the Quran of Uthman. They say that the Quran is the Quran of Uthman. They don't have that Quran. Nobody have it. However, as long as the Quran is the most authentic book for them, the Quran is horrible, full of stupid stories. Not enough only to prove that Muhammad is a fraud, is enough to prove that if you follow Muhammad, you are suffering from mental issues. I mean, who in the world want to believe that there is a God? You see, uh, once, uh, what his name, uh, did, they, did, did that, he said to a Christian uh, a person who was debating him, Are you brave to learn to say to your children the Song of Songs? Uh -huh. Song of Songs. Song of Songs is, is, you know, you idiot. It's called Song of Songs. It's a poetry. It's not God talking. It's a man. It's a king. That's why it's called Song of Songs. And it's not about women and sex, but because you are filthy, you think it's about sex. However, are you brave enough, the brother, to read this to your kids? That you have God, he will give you this? He described what is inside the women private part. So the Song of Song is a problem, and this is not a problem? 
So now you have your kid is reciting the Quran by heart, but thank God he don't understand the stupidity of the Quran. What is this? And look, the Quran did not use the word versions. You see, we say versions. It doesn't say versions. It says, Lem yatmuthahun. And this is the Muslim translation explaining to you what yatmuthahun mean. Nobody has opened. Opened what? The garage? He opened what? This is the word. Nobody had opened that skin and make them bleed. This is what Yatmuthahun mean. And by the way, a woman, she is virgin. Uh, virginity is not about opening this skin. Because a woman, she can do all kinds of stuff, but she is in that place. She is fine. <laughs> You know, I mean, do you know the stupidity? Let us say a woman, she don't have that skin open. What a filthy language. But who said that if she don't have that skin open, that make her a virgin? Is that correct or I'm making things up? Most of Muslim women, they do it in the wrong location during relationship because they want to stay virgins. And there is a very famous product, number one buyers for it is Islamic countries. It's called Virgin Again. It's made in China. Anyway, anyway. And the brother in the in the heaven, brother, you will be reclining in your couches. What the heck is this? This guy is a promising people who never saw a couch. I will be reclining in my couch in heaven. Are you sure? I mean, this is the, this is really fantastic. And there is a, a. I will be wearing silk, made in Iran. Even even their silk is not made in Arabia. It's made by the Persian, the enemy of the Arab, Istabrak. Istabrak is an Iranian brand, like 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 Gucci. It was famous in the time of Muhammad. So imagine there's God who promised you Gucci. He added the word Gucci literally in his promise. Or Nike. I will give you shoes of Nike. Quote from Gucci. Panty from Victoria's Secret. The promise of Allah. How touching, man. Gucci, Nike. Victoria's Secret. And your private part is not open. Nobody, brother, opened that part, brother. The wax is still there, brother. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, guys. I think it's time for me to go. Hold on. Let me look at this guy. <clears throat> I wonder how... I wonder why. Um, yeah, we wait a little bit more. And you will see soon, I will post pictures in uh, in uh, Patreon um, from my phone where I will be. Should I post pictures or nobody would like to see? <clears throat> All right. Oh, Lord have mercy. And then the brother, those women, they are like pearls, like rubies. If, 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 women, they are like rubies. So you wonder why those Al-Qaeda and ISIS, they want to die? They are horny. This is a horny religion. Muhammad is seducing his men, die. Like, don't you want to get the rubies? Women, they like, they're women like rubies. Actually, remind me, there is an Egyptian singer. Her name is Ruby. Hold on. Let me show you Ruby. All the Muslims, they want to have Ruby in heaven. This woman, when she make a video or a song, you know, 
like there's a song of her she's doing a sport in the bicycle so her bum go up and it's very 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 much brother attractive uh, heaven of Allah let us see here we go this is this is the ruby this is one of the virgins in the heaven brother ruby If, if I play it for you, you will die laughing. The, by the way, they are very conservative Muslims. Ruby is a Muslim. And look how many people watch her video. 7.1 million. And this is just in one post. So you imagine like in the other post. I mean, you, you just copy the video. You post it in your channel. You would have 7 millions. Yeah, Ruby, my, my brother Ruby, you know. <laughs> and you know, the funny, there is a, 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 the month of Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims. Is what? Is a holy month. And when you say holy month, you believe it, like holy month, man. If you see the movies they play in the holy month of Ramadan, you will not believe it, brother. Belly dancing. Shake it, shake it, bake it, bake it. This is all is Ramadan program, brother. I wish I can play, but uh, the problem, you know, the they will flag it for copyright you know yeah brother yeah music isn't the music is haram isn't it belly dancing is haram so why belly dancing is is in every corner in egypt you know hmm. <clears throat> anyway let us go back to fishing it's more safe <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys are really. I, I, I told you when I go fishing. Why you are? You, why you made me change the topic? What's? What, come on, that's not even fair. I wanted to take a break from this stupid garbage, and you know, look what you did to me. Uh, we, we said we would take a break from this garbage. Like hello, unbelievable. And look here, guys. Look, look at this. Uh, those guys, how they do fishing. Uh, 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 look how a human being can be creative. I don't know if you can see what they do. Uh, they they made a pole in the uh, seashore so they would not be sitting in the water. And they they climb in the top of it. Do, do you see what do you see what they are doing? How they do fishing. So this way they will be sitting. And all standing like this guy here is standing in the right, in the top of the pole. But I don't know how they can do it. Uh, look at this. Uh, hold on. Look at this one. I just saw this one. Those pictures. Wow. This is in Sri Lanka. This is in Sri Lanka. So they make like a ladder. They push it down in the ground, and they sit in the top of it. And they do fishing. <clears throat> Interesting. But I'm not sure why you don't want to be down in the... I think just because they don't want to just keep themselves wet. But I mean, they are not really far from the beach. It's just a few meters. So just cast your rod far and go away and wait for the fish. I'm not sure. But look how beautiful Sri Lanka. I want to go there. Look how beautiful this country is. Very beautiful. Right? <clears throat> Have you ever fished with a can pole? I don't know what can, can pole is. I'm not sure what does that mean. Yeah, very beautiful, you know, look at this. Look at this beauty. 
And by the way, Allah He sent Adam to Sri Lanka. So Adam himself is our our, our grand grandfather is from Sri Lanka. <laughs> now I know why I like tea. It's coming from the land of my grandfather. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Look at this. Look at this guy. What he is doing. Wow. Do you see what he is doing? This guy, he is, <laughs> he want to fly. Look at this. He climbed the tree all the way, and then he hang a rope so he can swing himself. Okay. All right. Human being is very creative. Now, it's going to be very embarrassing. Christian Prince, he said he's going fishing and then he come back with no fish. And this is what I'm expecting to happen because you see, it's not the warm uh, water, not totally warm. And fish, they don't really um, get close to the, to the shore unless it's warm. So don't, uh, don't think much about how many fish I will get. I might get zero. All right. And guess what? When you get no fish, everybody walk by you and say to you, uh, any luck? When you have fish, nobody asks you. You know what I mean? When you have no fish, everybody walking in the beach, say they come and they look in your thing, in your container and says, uh, any luck? But if you have fish, not a single person will say to you, uh, any luck? Only when you have no fish. <clears throat> Why you are afraid to debate Farid? We are afraid to the point he will not call me and he will not let me call him. You see who's afraid? Get lost. Stupid. I mean, look at those donkeys. We are the one who challenge him to debate and yet we are the one who is afraid. <laughs> and actually it's not a debate. It's going to be spanking. We don't debate Muslims. And who is this Fifi? He don't even dare to call me. This is how afraid he is. So go to your Fifi and tell him when you will call him, when you will be a man, when you will let him call you. I called Mimi Hijab, you remember? What they did, they hang, hang up on me seven times and they did not let me talk. Cowards! We are the one who challenged them and they are the one who is running. Potato. When you are afraid to debate, they think they have, you don't have a prophet to have Fifi. You think Fifi can save your prophet? We spank your prophet every day. I don't want to spank Fifi, by the way. I spank Muhammad. Because that will transform from the ass of Muhammad to the ass of every Fifi in the world. So it's going to be a multi spanking to millions of Fifi. Where are the brave Muslims who dare to debate us? All of you are Fifi. Not a single one of you is man enough. Actually, Muslim women are more brave and they call more than Muslim men. This is the truth. And if they call me, they want to play a, a, a tape or Quran. They don't dare to call. They don't dare to talk. Petitos. Petito, 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 petito. And by the way, don't forget to watch my videos I made for this Fifi and laugh at him. I challenge Christian Prince to find me the Scotason. The Scotason cannot be found. I would like to see the, Muslim, the Christians, you know, uh, help their servi servior. He cannot find the quotation. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, let us see here. I'm looking for pictures. I want to get this fish. Let us see if I can find it. But it's not season yet for it. But uh, uh, they don't have it in this website. Let us see in Google. Okay.
let us see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called redfish. It's so beautiful, very and very tasty. Very nice. Yeah, this is the one. Let us show you how it looked like. <clears throat> it's a good size fish. It's very tasty. And uh, we'll be a lucky day to have one. Anyone knows who, what red fish is? No, because you know, see, uh, fish they have different name, different uh, depend in the location. So what you call uh, red fish here, they call it something else somewhere else. You know. Remember. We are here speaking to the to the to the whole world, not to a location. You know, the USA they have different names. In Indonesia they have different names, etc. This is white snapper. I see. I just told you this is white snapper. As I know, this is a redfish, but he is saying this is white snapper. So everyone he have his own names and definition. Red snapper. Okay. Yeah. See, look here it says red fish 37 inch. So every country have different uh, different name. And you know, in the worst scenario, if I did not get any fish, I'm going and buy some sardine and I will take a, a picture of it and I will come to you and I will tell you what Muhammad he did. That uh, he, 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 he was uh, able to see some genie and he recited the Quran for them and they converted to Islam. And there is no need for witnesses. I mean, do you need witnesses really? Do you need even proof? No, that's it. I mean, it's a true story. Very true story. I mean, why? Why is that true? Obviously, it's a it's a very true, right? <clears throat> who need witnesses? Just say it. They believe it, and the one who don't believe it, he will get killed if he don't believe it. I mean, do you dare even to think about it? Look at this one. This one, uh, like uh, the st string ray. But I mean, look at this. It's like an airplane, like the, uh, what they call it, the American airplane. Man, the ocean is full of stuff. All right, all right, okay. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish for now. And I will post for you pictures, maybe. And I'm not going to leave right away. Uh, I mean, I need to go and buy some bait, you know, for fishing. Maybe I will get some squid or something. And then uh, maybe an hour or so after, I will post pictures in Patreon. If you would like to see where I am. Who want to go? Who, who like to see pictures in Patreon? Stingray. Um... Uh, so those who like to see, I will post pictures and I will take video, but maybe I will post it later because uh, I cannot lose my data. I have a very limited data plan. Uh, some Muslims still believe the logic about Sabbath fishing. Yeah. Well, no, actually, you see, Muslims don't believe in anything, really. There's no Muslim believe in fishing on Saturday. No Muslim believe in anything. This is a, They knew it's a lie. And if you don't believe me, go on Ramadan to Thailand, to Bosnia, uh, to Philippines, and go specifically to the bars. 
and then you will find nothing but Muslims. This is how much they believe. I remember once I was in a restaurant in the Philippines, and there was Abduls, and they have a bunch of hookers with them. And you can tell they are hookers from their clothes. So the guy, he have a black label in his table, beer. The girls are drinking, he's drinking, the guy with him is drinking, and then he asked the waiter or waitress, do you have halal food? What? Do you have halal food? I mean, look how conservative he is. Very conservative. Hookers on the table, their skirt is not even one inch. Beer and whiskey in the table, and then he want halal food. I mean, that's it. He's very conservative. We want halal food. You know, this is how they are. So Muslims really don't believe. I mean, Muslims they defend because uh, they they you know they, he's a Muslim. So the second you are insulting Islam, you are insulting him. That means he's a fool to believe in such a garbage. But in, in in the ground, in the in the practice, nobody believe. Nobody practice. Just give people freedom and let us see how many Muslims are Muslims. You know, if you there there is a there is an actor. There is some Egyptian here with us in the chat. You can ask them. There is an actor. His name is Adil Imam, and he is a Muslim. Uh, uh, he have a comedy uh, uh, act. Uh, the judge he said to him, "Okay, you learned that there is a belly dancer in your building. Why you did not move out?" The guy he said, "Well, if every citizen move because there is a belly dancer in the building, the whole country have to move out." This is the fact. This is the truth. They speak too much about dignity. Hashish, drugs, belly dancing, sex, bars, nightclubs. Like Erdogan. Erdogan, he make a speech about Allah. And he recite Quran for you. And then they ask him, so why you don't close the bars? And then the, the, the Mufti of Turkey, he answered to defend Erdogan. He said, the bars are paying for our salary. Go, go, go read the article. The bars are paying for your salary and my salary. This is how Turkey making money. From the legs and the private part of their women. But in the speeches, they speak about Allah. Islam, blah, 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 la, 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 la. But Turkey, number one business is prostitution. <laughs> right? And what make it more horrible, when the Mufti, he said, the, the I don't know if I can find it. If you are a Turkish, search for it and uh, post a link. Uh, what make it more funny, that the Mufti, he want to defend Erdogan, he said, well, the bars are the one paying for your salary and my salary. So we cannot we cannot close the bars, All right? <clears throat> Shia they believe that they can marry a baby. Shia and Sunni they believe in, they can marry a baby, both of them, because the baby is what a baby is a child. There is no limit of the age of how young the baby can be. The Sunni they say actually there's a video of Mimi Hijab explaining. He says if the if the if the girl uh, physically she can handle it, she is lawful. Doesn't matter what the age. Go watch it. So if she is six years old and her body uh, is bigger than her age, according to him, go for it. Yeah. This is their religion. Anyway, uh, I better go, get ready, and later I will post pictures in Patreon if you are interested to see. I want to say thank you guys. Thank you for those who help us and support us in donation. And uh, let us see how many fish I will get. And uh, uh, for sure, I will not say inshallah. <laughs> and now the Muslim, they will say, see, <laughs> he got no fish. <laughs> We got him. He did not say inshallah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy. <laughs> Man, you say inshallah in Somalia, you never get electricity. You say inshallah in Syria, you never get electricity. 
You say, inshallah, in Saudi Arabia, you never get the protection unless the American they send their soldiers. You say, inshallah, in Emirates, you never have security unless the American they promise you security. You say, inshallah, from now until the coming million year, Allah, He will never do anything to you. And that's why you still live in the cave time. Because you say, inshallah, waiting for Allah to do it. And Allah does not exist. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, maybe I will go live on air again at night to update you about my fishing st uh, uh, fishing trip. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> we got we got lucky and get a sardine. <laughs> this is if we got lucky. And if not, still we will update you about how many fish I did not fish. Um, and actually... I'm hoping that the story in the Quran will come to be true and the fish will dance in the front of me in the beach and will say, ah, 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 we are here, you cannot fish us, and I will fish them. Because according to the Quran, this is what happened. So, see you soon. And I will post pictures in uh, Patreon for those who care to see where I am and what I'm doing. Thank you and get a blessed. Take care.